Wood, and I'm one of the faculty librarians who works with health sciences students. And today we're going to talk about finding um, library resources for your um, health sciences 130 class project, which looks at how a community you belong to views health, sickness, and disease. So I um, invite you to start on the research guide that I put together for this class, uh, which is libraries.csueastbay.edu slash hsc130 and um, that's how I'll be accessing the library databases during this brief tutorial. So this video will live here and underneath I have recommended library databases um, that are relevant to health humanities. So we can go ahead on click on this first one, Academic Search Complete, which is a great database um, sort of regardless of which class you're in. Um, you'll be asked to log in with your NetID and password. And now we are in the database. Um, I actually am going to add in a few of the other databases that I recommended here because I know that I can search them simultaneously. Um, so um, for the topic that I'll be searching today, I'm interested in uh, mental health. So because of that, I am going to add in a few more databases by clicking on Choose Databases, adding in um, psych articles and psych info, and I'll add in CINAHL, which is the Nursing and Allied Health Literature database as well. And I think that'll be enough for now, so I'll click OK. Okay, so for my topic, I am interested in um, Asian American. Um, I'm interested in uh, the stigma of mental health and mental illness in Asian American communities. I may even get more specific um, once I start digging into the literature, depending on the results. But um, what I'm doing right now are typing in my keywords for the different concepts that I'm interested in searching. So. What you see here are that we have these three search boxes. We can add more as well if we need them. And how I like to think of these are there are different um, concepts. Each box represents an important concept to my search that I want the literature that comes back to match. Um, so my first concept is uh, the community that I'm interested in, which right now I'm going with a very broad Asian American. I may want, depending on if I get too many results or not enough, um, I may want to um, tailor that to particular East Asian groups of which I belong, um, or I may need to broaden it to include um, other groups as well. Here, this is the concept of mental health. Um, I'm also using synonyms for it, such as mental illness or depression. I could put in additional um, conditions as well, but I'm going to start with that. And then I'm interested in stigma. I could also put in um, perhaps shame, but I'll stick with just stigma for now. And I'm going to run my search. Again, we are running this search across four different databases simultaneously. And with this search, I have 325 results. Um, so that's, that's an okay number to start with. Um, maybe I would want to get more specific and choose a particular um, ethnic group and replace Asian American with that. Um, but uh, we'll work with this for now. So when I'm looking at my results here, I have some options on the left for limiting it. Um, you don't want to click this full text, and I'll show you why soon, but um, if, uh, you, if your assignment requires that you use peer-reviewed journal articles, most databases have the option to limit it to just that, but I don't want to limit it at this time because we can see from my results that I'm also, in addition to getting results from academic journals, I'm getting results from um, scholarly dissertations, from books, from magazines, and probably a few more things as well. So I want to show you how you can access the full text. So let's say that this first one looks intriguing to me for my topic. Um, on this abstracts page, I can get usually more information about the article itself, the authors, um, but really what I want to do is get to the full text. So I'm scanning the page for this PDF icon. If it's there, I can click on it. And with this PDF icon, um, with this PDF file, I can download it to my computer, print it, save it to Google Drive. I can also get an APA citation. Um, this database offers that with this piece of paper here. 
and I can scroll down to APA and copy and paste this into my um, Word or Google Doc file um, while I'm writing my bibliography. And that's great. So I have this full text here. Um, however, I want to show you how you get the full text if that PDF is not in the database or databases that you're in. So for this second article, the full text is not available, um, but we have this find it at CSU EB link. So what this does is I'm going to click on it and it's going to open up a new window that is going to look across the other databases to see if we have the full text somewhere else. In this case, we do. We have it in Springer link journals. I can click on this and if it works correctly, it will take me directly to that um, article where I can download the PDF and um, be able to read it, save it, print it, all of those options as well. Um, if that option wasn't available to me, let's see if we have another one where we don't have the full text. Let's try this one. Then we'll see an option to request it for free through email from another library. So we do have the full text of this one, that's great. Um, but if we didn't have the full text, then what you would see is this blue link that says request article from interlibrary loan. And that is a completely free of charge service to students. Uh, you just sign in with your NetID and password and submit the request and the article is emailed to you within one to three business days for free. Um, so please do use uh, this service um, when you need to get your articles. Um, when you're back on this research guide that I put together for um, Health Sciences 130, you'll see some other options. Um, the search is pretty much the same concept where you're just plugging in those keywords and um, reading through the results that you get. Um, I just want to point out one different one, uh, which is Google Scholar. So Google Scholar um, is a resource that's available to anyone without, you know, you don't have to have a NetID and password to search it and to access the full text that they have. However, um, it doesn't have a lot of full text. So uh, I think that this is a great resource for this assignment specifically and really for any of your assignments at Cal State East Bay. So what you'll wanna do is click on this Google Scholar settings link that I put underneath the database and tell it that you go to East Bay. So by clicking that, um, if you're signed in to your Horizon account, that's a Google account, or maybe use a Gmail account, and you can click on these two buttons and click Save. And then when you run your search for we should see this find text at CSU EB, um, which when we click on that, will take us through that familiar step where it takes us back into the database to get us to the full text to this article that we found through Google Scholar. Um, so that is it for this video, and um, please uh, continue watching on the um, other videos that are posted to this research guide. All right, thanks.